Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're talking about lubricating chain and a new way to do it. I'm excited about it. Joe Farkas is here from Timken Interlube. Joe, welcome to the show. It is great to have you here, my friend. Tom, thank you for having us. I am excited about all this that we have here today. Talk to me about this new system. Well, today, Tom, we're going to demonstrate how to set up a rotor lube lubrication system for a conveyance chain. All right. Well, that's cool. And uh, before we get started, I want to let everybody know, whenever you're doing something like this or whatever you're doing on the job, PPE is so important. Make sure safety is number one for you. Um, so proper protective equipment is really what you should have on the job. All right, Joe, let's talk about the roto loop system. Okay, Tom. First, let's take a look at some traditional ways of lubricating chain and why equipment operators want to find a different way. Proper lubrication should drop down between the two side plates of the chain. The areas where the oil needs to penetrate mm -hmm. is directly in between these two side plates so it can get onto the pin, whip to the ID of the bush, and lubricate the OD of that pin. Okay, well, what happens though if, if that doesn't get in there, if the lubrication doesn't take place in there, what, what, what will happen? Well, if it doesn't happen, friction makes the pins get smaller, the chain extends because of wear, and other components wear out as well. So it's important to make sure that that lubrication is precisely in the right place. Absolutely correct. But current lubrication methods are cumbersome, messy, and ineffective. All right, and, and one of those has to be manual application, is that right? Absolutely. Using a brush or can to apply lubrication is unpredictable and hard to control. With this approach, the chain can fluctuate between being under-lubricated and over-lubricated. Okay, what about automatic lubrication options that, that can help with this? Any? Sure, Tom. They're known as drip or spit methods, but these are unresponsive to changes in chain speed and are not synchronized with the chain. Okay, but do we have any options that would actually work? Yes, we do. The Rotolube system. This is an automatic lubrication system that precisely applies lubricant in between the side plates so it directly targets the chain pin and bushes. But how does the Rotolube system stay synchronized with the chain, unlike the other methods? Good question, Tom. The Rotolube applicator actually rotates like a gear next to the chain links so it knows exactly when to release the lubricant. The drip or spit applications don't touch the chain, so there's no way to time them precisely. Ah, uh, I see. That makes sense. Absolutely. And it's really an optimal system. It's designed to save on lubricant consumption, increase chain life, and decrease system amperage. It also helps reduce overall downtime because you are not constantly replacing failed chain or cleaning a contaminated one. Well, it definitely sounds like a good investment already. Oh, absolutely, Tom. We've actually done case studies on food processing lines, oven conveyors, and automotive production lines. And what we have found is that, on average, the Rotolube system pays for itself just after 118 days. Wait a minute. Let's say that together. How long? 118, 118 days. days. Okay, good. There we go. Just want to make sure. Perhaps most importantly, it creates a safe environment for employees. All right. Show us how to set it all up here. I, I, I want to get uh, the nuts and bolts of this. Sure, Tom. Just keep in mind that installation is unique in every facility, okay? The first thing we have to do is find a 24-volt power supply. That will give us the mounting location of the pump. In our case, we've mounted the pump in this position. Okay, we got our pump good. Next comes the manifold, solenoid, and pressure regulator. Okay. These also need to be mounted near the pump. All right, what's up next? Next, we need to determine where on the chain to mount the applicator. And it can be mounted on the top, on the bottom, or sides of the chain when the chain is mounted vertically. And okay. Tom, you could give a, a, an illustration of exactly how easy that is by detaching the applicator from the top of the chain. Okay, we'll unscrew that there. Right. Repositioning it on the bottom of the chain. So we can put it there. And then you would simply tighten it up to the bracket and mount the we would do Mount that. the we oil would line back there. up. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you, you had mentioned, can we also do this way where we do it to the side over here? Absolutely. You can, on a vertical chain application, you can go on either side or you can go on the inside of the chain if room allows. You can actually do it here as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different ways that Rotolube can work. Well, I'm going to put it back up on top here. There. But what if I have an engineered attachment chain? Now, will Rotolube work with that? Absolutely, Tom. Rotolube is completely customizable based on the plant needs. So if you have attachments hanging down, like in an automotive plant, for example, with doors hanging on hooks before they go through a paint room, we could mount the applicator on the top, such as we had initially, so it stays out of the way of the attachments. All right. Well, what happens after we mount the applicator, though? Once everything is mounted and has power, you need to set your run and time intervals. These are programmed via the control panel here. Okay. You set your run times. 
and the pump is programmable and can be set down to the exact CC. Now, when you talk about the CC, obviously we're talking about a delivery. Are, are there different ways to vary the CC for that? Absolutely, Tom. It's regulated by the injectors that the system employs. Okay. There's six different sized injectors. They're color-coded, so right. each one flows a different volume per injection. Can you set it for how much you want at a certain time? You can set the unit for five minutes every hour. If you think that it's too wet, you can run it five minutes every two hours. It's infinitely adjustable for run and dwell times. Well, I bet that makes it a whole lot cleaner than they used to be with oil spitting and spurting everywhere. Oh yeah, Tom. Most plants had to halt production to clean contaminated chain because they were over lubricating. But with Rotolube, you can avoid that problem. Okay, so, so far we've mounted the pump and the applicator. We've set our runtime intervals. Now, are we missing any steps in the process? There's just a few more left. The next thing we will need to do is monitor the amperage draw on the chain motor drive. This is the best indicator that the lubricant is getting where it needs to be. Okay, yeah, earlier you said that Rotolube decreases the motor amperage, so that's how we actually know it's working. That's exactly right. And after that, you set it and forget it. Just make sure the pump reservoir is full and you're good to go. Awesome. And there you have it, the step-by-step -step instructions for setting up Rotolube automatic lubrication system. And Joe, thank you so much. I want to give you a so much little for gift me. as you leave the set there. Thank you very much. Don't tell everybody. That's the uh, Mr. T starter kit, by the way. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. Hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And uh, remember, as we talked about, PPE. Make sure whatever job you're doing, that uh, you wear the proper PPE. Safety is always number one. And look for other how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, from Motion Industries as your host. Thanks for watching.